What was your thoughts on Tank negotiating with Eddie Hearns with kind of Ben fight, but refusing to talk to Eddie with your fight? Man, y'all got to read between the lines. Listen, these, these guys, they they say everything but let's fight. They do a whole lot of talk. But when it comes to some negotiations, it comes to be some bullshit, in which I, I can't take my hat off to Ryan. When it came to negotiating, he, he, he gave me everything that I wanted. And uh, it, 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 it never was no real resistance. He, he, he agreed on everything, and uh, I agreed on everything, and the fight was easy to be made. Devin, when you come out with Corey, what's the next thing um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go up in weight. I don't know if I'm going to stay at the weight. I got to see how I feel on, on uh, April 20th. But um, I want to make the biggest fights happen for the most money, obviously. Um, and uh, it got to be something after this game, too. That really, you know, excites me. Does that Crawford fight, does that Crawford fight make sense at 147? Okay, seven. How you feel, Jack? Yeah. Man, that shit is just whatever you do behind closed doors is what you do behind closed doors. Nobody is not to use a grown man. But it's like the, the world is watching the, the, the it's a lot of young kids that that watch a guy like Floyd who's, who said, I don't drink, I don't smoke. You know what I'm saying? I I um I work hard and that's what got me here. And that's that's the blueprint that I follow. That's what I believe in. That's what got me here. So it's like, why not let's keep that going? That to be a clean athlete, to, to, to work hard, to be disciplined, and that's how you get to the top. So what what why, who's what what athlete has said, oh I smoke weed, I drink, and uh, I'm the best and follow what I do because it, it works. No, you don't do that at the end of the day. Like I said, he's a grown man. I'm not saying what he does behind closed doors. Do whatever you want to do. Listen, even if you do coke, go do some coke behind closed doors. That got nothing to do. That don't got nothing to do with nobody. But for the world to see, come on, bro. That's a, that, that, that's not being a, a good role model. There's some well, some people, oh, I'm still talking. Some people, some people, like they, 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 they're not bred to be in this position, and they don't deserve to, to, to be in this position because they don't know what to do when they get there. What do you hey, think Devin. that there was a, a need for them to announce that they're, you know, that Barbosa might be the backup fight? No, I mean that's that that's, that puts some pressure on Ryan. That listen. If, like, the show goes on. The show is going to go on regardless. April 20th is my date. Rather, Ryan shows up or he doesn't, I'm going to be fighting him. So uh, I guess we got a backup, Arnold Barbosa, just in case. Hey, Do you think that there's a chance that that might happen? I don't know. Devin, Devin, when you take a look of your he's resume. Gonna, you're gonna, he's going to retire. You guys made the bet in New York. Yeah. Do you think he will retire? I don't, if, if I don't know. That ain't really my focus. My focus. My focus is going in there and beating him, beating him worse than he's ever been beat before, and um, winning a fight. If he retires, he retires. Like I said, up there, he may retire before we even get to the fight. Is there a rematch clause on this fight? No. Uh, Devin, what, uh, how listen, can you? I'm gonna beat him so bad we won't need a rematch. Devin, What's your, Devin, thoughts? How What's can your you, thoughts on this fight? Devin, how can, you, how can you define the difference of the resumes? Because when you take a look at the career of Devin Haney, it's huge, two-way class division. How can you define the difference of the resume? What is his resume? Uh, that's what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm asking saying. you. What, do we, does he have a resume? Who's, who's the guys that he beat? Who's the top guys that he beat? Luke Campbell? Devin, maybe, hey, Javier, it, maybe Javier Fortuna when he was washed old. Devin, you, you, you like have a resume. Hey, what's like your thoughts resume? on his father making a head comment about Don King? You know, at least a head not nappy like Don King. And, Listen, and that, and, that's yeah. not that's that, that's not even something that you even say. Like, yeah. like, like I said up there, us African Americans, we got coarse hair, or more coarse hair than you know uh, other races. But that don't mean that like our hair is nappy. That don't make us us our hair nappy. But these guys, they. They, they really be undercover races and they just ex he just ex they just expose themselves. So. What did you want this fight? Did you ask for this fight? When but that's come? why that's why I'm gonna beat him for for the people. I'm going I'm the the, the 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 world need to get behind this because these people they don't they don't need, they don't deserve to be in this position. They don't deserve to be in boxing. They need to get out of boxing. Like, what kind of comment is that? Who even is comment comments about somebody, a black person having nappy hair? Like that's that's just that's just something you just don't say. Devin, you fought seven straight. Uh, Devin, you, you fought, like you fought seven straight world champions and former champions. Obviously, this is Ryan Garcia's first chance at a world title. Why did you decide to give him that opportunity? Um, we know why. We know because Ryan Garcia has a name. It's a uh, it's a huge fight at the end of the day. Um, you, you, you see how big this event is, and uh, that's why everybody need to make sure they go get their tickets. 
right now. Should I say this? This this fight is going to be a crazy event, and I'm going to beat the shit out of him for the people, for the world, and and, it, and it's going to be crazy. Do you believe? Do you believe the zone? Do you believe the zone? Do you believe the zone pressures Brian to take this fight? I don't know. Now I can't actually necessarily say nobody really pressured him to take the fight. Cause I, 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 me and Ryan, we were talking on the phone days before the fight got made, and we were talking, we were trying to make the fight happen. We were going over the numbers and you know how things were gonna be. So I'm not gonna say Ryan didn't want the fight or he didn't want the fight at that time. But at, right right now, where we at, it don't seem like Ryan is wanting the fight because, like I said, even if he was smoking weed, right? What are you doing it for the world to see? If, th if this is what you do, right? You've been doing this. You've been doing this. This works for you. This is the blueprint that works for you. Why all of, all of a sudden you want the world to see it now? It's like, it's like, I don't know. One thing you see on him during the face-off. He's a fucking clown. <laughs> the dude was growling. Like he was doing some growling noises. <laughs> growling noises or something. I don't know. Whose idea was it to do the Vada test? Oh, no. It's, 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 every fight that I fight, this is probably the... 10th fight, 11th fight that I did Vada. I do, I do, I do Vada every fight, and sometimes I even pay for it out of my own pocket for me and my opponent. Um, if, if the promoters aren't um, willing to pay for it, because some promoters they don't want they don't, they don't want to pay for Vada testing because it's the most expensive one, and I like to get it 10, 8 to 10 weeks out just to make sure that uh, everything is everything. So. Um, it was it was my idea, but I'm not gonna say that he 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 agreed to it. He wasn't it wasn't no like resistance to it. Devin, even though he's the Mexican American, you have it also far obviously in the Mexican fan base. What do, what do you tell the Mexicans who are Team Haney on Fight Night? Listen, listen, the Mexicans are for Haney. They need to get behind Haney um, because uh, I I love the, the Latin, Latino fans and I started my career in uh, in Mexico. Haney Paro of the Mexico the Tijuana. TikTok, your dad said that he was gonna take. The girls that you brought with them. Do you want to take the TikTok fans too? No, the girls. The, girl, the, the girls already with us. They waiting on us when we leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but um, say it again, bro. The TikToker. Do you guys want to kind of market to to that kind of fan base as nah, well? Since the zone has those type of fights. Do you guys want to bring his TikTok fans over to your guys' side when you beat them? I don't give a fuck about no TikTok. <laughs> that TikTok. He did he he did a TikTok for me. He he did TikTok and I did the real shit and uh we here doing a fight. So I let him I let him do the TikTok. The, right. Tijuana is in the north of the country. Tijuana is gonna be with you. How, how's the feeling that the north of the Mexico is gonna be with you? Amazing, amazing. In Tijuana as well. Yeah Tijuana just Tijuana will forever have a special place in my heart. Um it bred me. I got um I got Tijuana all in me. What can you tell to the people of Tijuana? Tune in April 20th. Um, I'm gonna get this guy Brian Garcia out of boxing, and uh, I'm gonna show show him that you know uh, you guys made a champion. Never hang. Hey, what?